Tab Corp says it hopes to have a key licensing agreement finalised shortly. The $410 million deal with the Victorian government enables Tab Corp to conduct betting on thoroughbred, harness and greyhound racing and approves sporting and other events. Shareholders had a chance to question Tab Corp's new leadership at the AGM. Emily Stewart reports. He may not have been present at today's AGM, but former Tabcorp boss Elmer Funky Cooper is coming back to take up a non-executive position on the board, a move not everyone's happy with. The issues um, in terms of uh, former executive returning as a non-executive, you know, is certainly from a corporate governance point of view, um, the independence. But Chief Executive David Attenborough says he's looking forward to his former colleague's return. I know exactly what we need to do for the business. We've got the strategies in place and a lot of those strategies uh, we had and we planned together and I know them well and I'm also, the ones that I'm changing, I'm changing because it's the correct way to take the business forward. And I'm the CEO and he's there quite rightly to challenge and to, and to bring good, good questions to the board. The Australian Shareholders Association also questioned the structure of pay for senior executives. Tabcorp is probably one of the, the, the least uh, problematic ones. However, when, when you look at the structure of their report, um, the, the concerns are in terms of long-term incentives, whether you know, they're, they're actually long-term enough. Tabcorp has seen some big changes this year, with the company demerging from its casino business in June. And it's set up for further growth, winning both the wagering and betting licence and the Kino licence in Victoria. And it's seen revenue growth in its first quarter as a standalone entity. Really it's growth across the board. We're seeing growth across all our businesses. And it's really continued momentum from last year. Tabcorp has managed to avoid any negative impacts from the recent international economic unrest. I think what can affect us is if you get a big spike in unemployment because then essentially people don't have money in their pockets. Um, but you will see our business being fairly robust even during uh, what are quite hard times for a lot of retailers out there. The company is hoping punters will be emptying their pockets on Melbourne Cup Day and David Attenborough had this hot tip. There's an English horse, Jukebox Jewelry, that I'm going to potentially bet on. It's in from $41 to $12. And with around $200 million expected to be wagered on Cup Day alone, Tabcorp is probably the only guaranteed winner.